Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking on the Clock brought to you by Grace Foods. I'm Camila McDonald, and if you've read my book, Wake Up and Live, you would know I have an entire chapter on breakfast. I break it all down on why I believe it's the most important meal of the day, in my humble opinion at least. I know there are tons of theories out there that would beg to disagree, but this episode is for you if you are a breakfast lover and you want to learn how to build a champion breakfast on the clock every single morning. And that's why today we're going to shine a light on a breakfast table that should always be in your weekly lineup, and that's breakfast smoothies. I personally could have a smoothie every single day for breakfast. In fact, some weeks I actually do. But let me count the ways you can twist and turn a smoothie. And if you do it right, you never have to worry about getting bored or feeling like you're having the same breakfast every single day. And better yet, if you do it right, you will be getting all the nutrients you need to set yourself up for a winning day. So we're gonna jump into just how to do it right. But first, the recipe reveal. So this week, we're gonna be prepping three delicious smoothies that have all the elements of a perfect breakfast. So let's check the star lineup. So first, we're gonna be doing the cauliflower power breakfast smoothie. Then we have the splendid blended spirulina breakfast smoothie. And lastly, we're gonna be exploring the creamy turmeric breakfast smoothie. Three the hard way for all the right reasons, packed with all the goodness that we need for a truly nutritious and delicious start to the day. These three breakfast smoothies have every single element of a winning breakfast and can be rotated throughout the week so your options will not feel or taste monotonous. All right, so let's get prepping. All right, guys, you know the deal. The trick to having your smoothies on the clock is prepping up your ingredients in advance. As you know, we're doing three smoothies today, so we're just gonna move through some of the prepping. We're gonna start with cauliflower rice. Now, I know it sounds a little crazy, cauliflower in a smoothie, but remember, we're going for veggies at breakfast, and I promise you won't even taste it. So you're just gonna make sure that your cauliflower, you break it up into florets, and then we're gonna add it to our blender. You're just basically slicing it to get it in a really reasonable size. It depends on what blender you're using but most high-powered blenders will get you what you need. So the idea is that you are just pulsing, don't let them shred down to nothing, right? So just a little bit at a time, and then there's a likelihood that you're gonna wanna help the cauliflower that is kind of like stuck on the edges, just kind of help it down. And then you go again and you just keep pulsing over and over and over until you get some beautiful rice-like in texture and shape and you just kind of run it through. For this particular smoothie, we want one and a half cups, all right? So, and because we're making two packs of each, we're going for three cups. So just keep, you know, chopping up your head of cauliflower, adding them in there, blend, blending it up. In the mornings, if you didn't prep this up in advance, there's not a very high likelihood that you'll actually do this. So it's holding you accountable so you can actually Enjoy your smoothies at breakfast. So you're just gonna keep going, keep rising until you get about three cups. All right, so once you're finished blending your cauliflower to rice, it looks something like this. All right, so again, just very rice-like. And if you are making two versions of this smoothie or two servings of this smoothie, let's say you wanna have it on Monday, you wanna have it on Wednesday, then make sure you prep about three cups worth. So that's gonna go in our smoothie packs that we're making today. All right, so let's go ahead and chop the pineapple. All right, so we just wanna create that flat surface. I like to just chop up an entire pineapple. I use it as a snack throughout the week. I freeze it to make it with the rest of my smoothies. And it's great, great in juicing. This is an awesome sweetener for your green juices. And then let's just slice it right here. All right, so now we have all of our ingredients prepped. We have our Ziploc bags ready. So again, if you notice, 
we have a bag for our produce and our bag for our dried ingredients. Now we're gonna assemble everything and then it's gonna be super easy. This is has always been one of my favorite meal prep hacks because before you know it, you'll, you'll have a smoothie, you'll have your breakfast in two minutes with these packs. So let's go ahead, let's pack all of our ingredients or, or produce ingredients in the produce bag and then the dried ingredients in the dry bag. All right, so let's start with our cauliflower power. We want about 1.5 cups of our cauliflower. We want about two handfuls of spinach. Again, remember the importance of our greens. Then we want about a half of a cucumber. We want one frozen banana. All right, so now we're gonna prep our dry ingredients. One tablespoon of hemp seeds, one tablespoon of chia, I would say one to three dates, depending on your desired level of sweetness. And now we're gonna move on to the superpower spirulina. I'm gonna do about three quarters of a banana for this one. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add one slice of pineapple. We're gonna add some mint leaves. Mm. This is where we're gonna do one cup of pre-washed kale. And make sure you wash it really good. All right, and then we want a half of, av of an avocado in there. This is gonna just create so much creaminess and smoothness for the smoothie. Our superpower spirulina. Now we're gonna add the dried ingredients. For spirulina, a little bit really does go a long way. Let's add a little bit of spirulina, it's gonna give the smoothie is such a rich green color. So this one has chia and hemp, and this is ready. All right, so lastly, we're gonna go with our turmeric detox breakfast smoothie. I'm gonna add an entire banana. We're gonna add our fresh ginger. I'm also gonna add fresh turmeric. You can add the powdered if you like. On that note, let me go with half of a pineapple. All right, and then this is where we're gonna add our kale. With a half cup. Okay. Then we're gonna move on to our dried ingredients. So we're gonna start out with our grace rolled oats. We want about it's a half cup. I'm gonna add Maybe about a half of a pitted date. We already have so much sweetness going on. We have one whole banana. We have half of a pineapple slice. Um, so just a little bit, just to add some elements there. Let's add a little bit of maca powder just because it's here. That's what's nice about just doing all of this prep in advance. Let's add a little bit of flat seed. Let's put a little hemp seed here too. All right, so this is our dried ingredients for our turmeric. All we're gonna do is pop these in the freezer. We are gonna store these in your pantry, somewhere in your cupboards. It's already labeled, so it's easy to just grab and go. And, and that's it, that's all our prep. All right, so all the messy work is done. All the hard work is done. We've chopped everything up. We've prepped everything up. We've got our smoothie packs, both the produce and the dry ingredients, ready for when we're ready to blend up our breakfast smoothies. Now we're ready to cook on the clock.